Today I'll be showing you how to build an ultra simple AFK fish farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. AFK fish farms are by far the best and simplest farm in Minecraft that absolutely anybody can build or use. These things literally take like less than two minutes to build and the amount of loot and experience that you can get out of them is just absolutely insane. This particular AFK fish farm is incredibly, incredibly fast, so it's going to give you more loot faster than other fish farms you might have seen. It's also dead cheap as well, like there's absolutely no redstone, the most expensive thing is one hopper. If you're not familiar with AFK fish farms, you can get an absolute ton of different loot from these things. They are a great source of early game food, experience, you can also get basically any enchantment book in the game, including mending, you also get better fishing rods than the one that you're using. Not only that, you also get like all this other junk. Technically, everything you get from here is useful in some way or another. Now, you might have heard that AFK fish farms were nerfed, but that is only for Java Edition. Java Edition fish farms have had their mechanics changed, and that was quite a while ago, but that never actually happened on Bedrock Edition. And that means our fish farms are just incredibly simple, incredibly efficient, and they give you tons of loot. There's also a weird mechanic on Bedrock where if you have a literal living fish next to the spot that you are fishing, you'll actually get better loot, which is kind of weird, but I suppose it makes sense because they want you to be fishing in the ocean, although they kind of forgot we could just put fish in a bucket, so... Yeah, we, we kind of abused that mechanic. To give you a little bit of proof for that, I did a bunch of different tasks. This one has, you know, 90 items, six treasure items. That was with no water. This one has water. And then you start adding fish to it. And as you can see, having fish next to your water source actually does give you quite a bit more items. It's also very important that your fish farm have sky access because when it is raining, you want the rain to be able to hit the water source that you're fishing in. Basically, that gives you better rates. It gives you more treasure, it gives you more drops, and it just makes your fish farm more efficient. So how exactly does this fish farm work? Well, it's incredibly simple, and it relies on the same basic mechanics that we've been using for a couple of years now, but it's just a lot faster due to the fishing bobber activating the trapdoor sooner. So basically, all you do is you come stand right here in this corner as far back as you can, and then you aim right at this little area on the side of that slab, you throw your fishing bobber, and then that's going to land directly on the pressure plate, activating the trapdoor immediately so whenever you catch a fish that is going to make the bobber fall down and unactivate that pressure plate as you can see we can harvest that we get the experience and we just got a fish from it as well and then that goes into your storage so we just stand back in this corner we aim right there and then we can just turn on an auto clicker and the fish farm will fish for us and you can stand here for as long as you like you will never starve or take damage or anything like that as long as you box in your area and make it safe so yes this fish farm does require an auto clicker just like every other fish farm on bedrock edition there's no way to fully afk without an auto clicker that i'm aware of but if you're on pc it's really easy to get an auto clicker there's a link to one in the description of the video for op auto clicker if you don't feel safe downloading it then of course don't download it there's a variety of other auto clickers out there but basically all you need to do is set your timer to pretty much any number i can have it as fast as 15 milliseconds other afk fish farms you need like 300 milliseconds so that's the difference between this one and other designs that I've shown before. But if you want to feel safe or if you play on a really laggy server, then maybe you can put that to 100. Make sure, of course, you set that to right click and not left click. And then all you got to do is aim at this general area, hit F3, and now our auto clicker is turned on and we can go AFK for as long as we want. As long as your fishing rod has mending on it, it'll automatically repair itself and you can AFK forever. Now, if you're playing on a console, then you might need to use a turbo controller or otherwise jerry-rig some sort of mechanism to repeatedly press that button, but that is something that you can figure out. It shouldn't be too difficult, and if you're on mobile, there's going to be auto-clickers in the App Store or the Play Store. You should be able to find one relatively easy. And if you don't have an auto-clicker, you can always build my semi-AFK version. It's basically just a machine that helps you fish as you're, like, watching a movie. A real quick thanks to Krugula for sending me this updated AFK fish farm design. It's really quite nice, a tiny, and, like, really 
fast as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And let's hop into the tutorial. All the materials that you need to build this are on my hotbar right here. This is literally it. It is basically as cheap as you can possibly get it. And then you'll also need a fishing rod to start. Doesn't matter what it is. Eventually you'll fish up more fishing rods and be able to craft one like this with Luck of the Sea 3, Unbreaking 3, Lore 3, and Mending. That's basically a god rod and that's exactly what you want. The area that you need to build this is three blocks wide, six blocks long. It's going to be three blocks above the ground and one block below the ground. We're going to start building by popping out these three blocks right here and then placing in ourselves a double chest facing to the side, crouch, and then place in a hopper right there into the side of it. You need a wooden fence post right there, a wooden pressure plate, and then an upper slab right there. Place in yourself another double chest right here and then a block above it so that you can't accidentally open it. This is just to align the fishing bobber properly. Now you need a solid block there and there and then just around this on all sides with three more solid blocks and remove that one. We're going to go ahead and place in ourselves a lower slab right next to that chest like so. And now place in your fish. It can be any type of fish that you want. And then a water bucket onto that chest. You'll need to be crouching in order to waterlog that. Go ahead and place in yourself a couple of solid blocks in this area right here. And then you'll need an, an iron trapdoor right there. It does need to be iron. It cannot be any type of trapdoor besides iron. And then place in yourself two slabs and these areas right here. If you're building this out in the open, make sure that you have some sort of solid block above the player. That way phantoms can't spawn. And of course, you know, build something around this to keep creepers and other mobs from attacking you. But make sure that this block right here and this block with the fish have direct sky access going all the way up to the top of the world. No glass, no other blocks. Rain needs to be able to hit these two blocks right here. And now that you've fully built up the farm, go ahead and grab yourself any fishing rod that you want. Stand in this back corner and then you need to aim at the left side of this slab right here not the face of it the left side of it but don't aim too far because then you'll get this little black outline of the chest and then you'll just be clicking on the chest trying to open that so there's basically a fine little sliver right here where you can aim and you need to aim at the top half of this slab so basically these four pixels right here anywhere in there will do it just fine it's a little bit tricky of an aim if you're not used to it or if you're playing on mobile or a controller it might take a little bit of practice but once you get it you don't need to fuss around with it turn on your auto clicker and then you are good to go now if your trapdoor is activating repeatedly like that then you are aiming at the incorrect spot or you need to slow down your auto clicker and that's basically all there is to it you can stand here for infinity amounts of time but i would recommend that you have other farms running while you're afk fishing don't just afk fish for the fish farm you should have some other farms running in the background to maximize your afk and as you can see after just a couple seconds of using this farm we've caught multiple different items and as you can see we have a whole bunch of fish in here now after a little while you will begin to get a bunch of this other treasure loot the treasure loot includes enchanted books enchanted fishing rods bows and the likes of name tags etc so give it some time afk for like an hour or so and you'll get a ton of stuff You'll need to expand your storage system. A double chest will fill up in about 15 minutes because this produces roughly 900 items per hour on a good day. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and maybe subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And then there was silence.